It's 4.50 in the morning. <laughs> and we're doing something exciting today. We're doing a bucket list item. We're doing Angkor Wat temples in Siem Reap with the grasshopper tours. Dun, dun, dun. Subscribe to follow along. It's dark. We made it to Angkor Wat. As Guy said, it's dark, but we can actually start to see the temple. We can see the outline of the beautiful roofs of the Angkor Wat temple. We're walking straight towards it. It's like a straight line. You can just tell as the day brightens up, we're gonna be like, what is this place? I know, we sort of drove through north of Siem Reap into the jungle. It's not far from town, but still a bit of Bit of a drive. This is just one of those places where like people come around the world <laughs> really to cool. see it and I can't really I like I can't stop smiling. The world's biggest here. religious monument. Like, this is this is a very, very special place. <laughs> From eight hundred AD to the fourteen hundreds, located where what is now the city of Siem Reap in northwestern Cambodia, lay the imperial capital of a large and powerful civilization which covered much of modern day Thailand, Laos, southern Vietnam, Cambodia, and parts of southern China. For the Khmer Empire this royal center was the city of Angkor. With tremendous water management technology and perhaps the world's first healthcare system, the Khmer Empire was highly sophisticated. With a population of roughly 1 million people in an urban area of an estimated 1,000 square kilometers and comparable to ancient Rome, the city of Angkor was the largest pre-industrial metropolis in the world. At its center, and still to this day, lies the largest religious structure in the world, Angkor Wat. They smell so good. Oh mm -hmm. my god, I'm so jealous, Keith. That's so nice. I got one for Keith because I can't eat it, but he gets two. I get two. You so can hear the cicadas in the back. It's loud. It's beautiful here. We're I'm waking up slowly. Watching the sunrise at one of the most beautiful historical places in the world with fresh croissants. What more can you ask for? Yeah, this used to be one of the biggest cities it's ever been. The sun has risen, it is now bright and, and beautiful. we are going to head inside and it's so awesome. Our guide is really knowledgeable, mm -hmm. which we think is hugely important to know what went on here and how long this place existed. So we've crossed the moat and we've made it to the grounds of Angkor Wat. 400 hectares of grounds. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's hitting me now. What is this? What we now call Angkor Wat is not only this singularly spectacular temple, but the entire archeological site of this ancient city covering 400 square kilometers of temples, ruins, and forested area. I was wondering why it was so quiet. We were outside, we come in and we found all the people. All the people were along the edge here. Is there another moat? <laughs> And there's your proof, we're here, for real. It's not just B-roll that we got online. <laughs> there she is. I know I'm getting a lot of shots of these beautiful temples over here, but it's just iconic. It's on the Cambodian flag. It is one of the greatest monuments in the world. And that's why there's a good amount of people here. It's actually not as busy as, as it usually, as is, it he usually is. He said it's a quiet day. But yeah, people come around the Every world. Every single day people are here, which always blows our mind when we're somewhere so incredible and spectacular. We're like. Every single day yeah. of the year, there are people here visiting this monument, and we just feel so grateful to also be able to be here. Many pictures were taken. It's a beautiful, beautiful setting here. But we gotta keep on moving up these old stairs. You with me, Dev? I'm coming. We're inside. It's huge. It's quite big. Oh my goodness. And there's like passageways and detail everywhere. There's quite a lot of detail that remains. I wonder how much uh, renovation they did. Pre preservation. Too. Preservation, sorry. Wow. But it's it's really detailed if you look up close. I can't believe we're here. It's amazing. It's so <laughs> It's so neat. Also, you don't hear about this ancient civilization very much where we're from. And it's really cool to learn about this kind of stuff. Okay. It is exactly straight. Rice potassium. Good see my compost. 
and then when I put in here, it turned to zero number. This point right here is the exact center of Angkor Wat, of this whole giant complex. And he literally put his compass on it, and it pointed exactly north zero that way, exactly west, like it's perfectly centered. So cool! This is the center. <laughs> we bumped heads. We seem to be entering the compounds now. We get to go up! We get to go up! Which means a view for Kiki! Dev, can your little legs climb this? Of course, I Maybe love Maybe a little stairs. too steep. Hats off them. because it is a temple. Yeah, Devin has a good point. Good I, I was just saying about how we've been to such cool monumental ruins before, but never ones that are still this existent. Like, we can picture what maybe the old civilizations used to look like. For example, I was saying in Pergama. In Turkey, Turkey yeah. But here, it's all still here. Yeah, here we're actually, we get we're to on walk. the third floor of this <laughs> crazy old building. Yeah, wait, we're, this is all third floor. Yeah. And there's stuff up here. Yeah. Yeah, you get to walk a building, like an ancient building. That doesn't happen. No. Devin, what time is it? 7.37 a.m. <laughs> and we're We still have a whole day ahead of us. We're just getting started, folks. I thought we were getting used to this heat. Apparently not. This place is huge and there's lots to see. Hold on tight, we're going down. Okay, it is steep. It's this steep. The sheer detail here is insane. I did not expect this. We're walking and learning so much. One of the things we learned is all the columns here are designed so that when the shadow hits them, it looks like Angkor Wat. Like the Angkor Wat all those silhouette. columns that also provide shade yeah, and breeze create like that's some detail isn't it and there's stories that all these beautiful inscriptions we're learning it's, it's really beautiful it's awesome feels nice to have some shade now we've left the island of the Angkor Wat temple there's the moat around us oh my gosh and like he's just beautiful? like nature I feel so much better and it's so right I'm so excited we're gonna be biking through the jungle like this yeah is so I'm looking cool. forward to this this is gonna be really cool it's also breakfast time, so I'm getting hungry, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I'm surprised I have this much energy. I haven't had a coffee No yet. coffee and no food, and it's, we've been up for, what, four hours? You had two croissants, buddy. Oh, goodness, I did have two croissants. <laughs> and more than, more than the regular as well. Back on the bus. What okay. is air conditioning? Wow. <gasps> Thank you. And just like that, we're off the bus, and we're having a breakfast literally in the jungle, in the middle of Angkor Wat. What is this? This is so fancy. Uh, green. What the heck? Green. This is a full on oh, breakfast, right. folks. Yeah, We're getting spoiled in the jungle. Coffee. <laughs> we were not expecting this. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. We have this beautiful jungle view and there's yogurt and granola and cereal and coffee and juice and omelets. Omelet. Yeah. I'm so excited to eat. I guess I'm sorry. After the hot temple in the morning, I have to say this, this is, is luxury, this, this is, is nice. So cool. Let's go. I no words. This looks amazing. I'm so excited to eat. And you have first. coffee. First coffee and I've been up since four, so I'm happy that I'm, I'm still happy. Fruit? After sweating quite a bit, <laughs> feels really good and a good glass of glass of mango juice. Oh my gosh, we're spoiled. We're spoiled here. This is nice. Really nice. It begins. Excellent breakfast. Oh my goodness, we've got the energy, and now we're gonna hop on bikes. <laughs> The nicest bike I've ever ridden on. Okay. It is nice. It out, make sure we get to go. I right, go for a rip. <laughs> oh, this is Can nice. I... Good, Kevin? Oh, it's awesome. Hey. Feels good to be on a bicycle. Looks like a mountain biker. Nicest bike ever. The nicest bike ever. And also, my name tag's on this thing because of the size and the bench height. They set it up for me. <laughs> like, because I gave them my measurements. Like, <laughs> talk about service. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I have to say, phenomenal. It's really cool biking through Angkor Wat. I feel like we got the temple, the main temple on Angkor Wat, right? The city temple is what it stands for, by the way, out of the way so that we can sort of venture the grounds. And this is awesome. It's really cool beautiful. way of doing it. It's beautiful. Pit stop here at Anchor Tom's South Gate. I think I got that right, which is really quite neat. We're gonna walk around, it's beautiful, and then we're gonna get back on our bikes. It's hot, but it's really, really nice biking. It's so fun, actually. Check this out. Okay, it's like, everyone knows about Anchor Wat, but what you don't realize is the whole city, like we just, I found out Keith already knew this, of course, but YouTube it was videos. a city of over a million people. And you can just tell this area we're about to go into had over 20 temples in itself. Yeah, there's temples, ancient temples everywhere in this whole area. This whole thing was, I mean, it was an ancient civilization, one of the biggest ever. Like we just biked seven kilometers to get here, which was so much fun, but it just shows how giant this area is. Just grand. Also, look at how beautiful this is. And these right here on both sides are the demons and I think the gods. Gods or guards? Or, sure. yeah, essentially these, these statues are depicting the story that we saw on the walls of Angkor Wat. Cool, cool, cool! Quick pit stop at the corner temple because it's the very corner of the whole city. That's right, and there's one on every four corners. Another little fact over here is that the moat around the city is actually 12 kilometers long, which is quite large. All man-made, of course. Holy guacamole, folks. The faces are so beautiful. It's They're actually in such great conditions, but it has been, uh, restored, it has been restored quite a bit. I mean... It's one of those things where too, because we're Keith and Dev, I was like, $37 for one day to get into Angkor Wat, like USD, that's a lot. It's paid for the park fee. It's, it's because they're always restoring it and they're keeping it this beautiful. And so, you know what? I'm, I'm happy paying I'm, that. I'm really blown away by this place. It's, it's phenomenal. Tip, if you're female, bring a long skirt you can wear over top because anytime you get near them, you need to be wearing the appropriate clothing, but then when you're biking, you can have biker shorts on. As a dude, you can wear pants. I do have pants in my backpack, but the shorts seem to be As long okay. as they're, they're like length, longer shorts. Look at this beautiful road. Nicely paved, shaded with beautiful canopies. Okay, we got this temple to check out. Look at that beautiful temple right there. In the shade though, it is much cooler, I will say. We are walking towards the Bayon Temple, which we learned is actually the newest temple of Angkor Wat in that it was the newest one built before the civilization started to move to Phnom Penh. We also learned over time originally it was a Hindu temple, then became Buddhist, and then over time nature and wars kind of deteriorated it. So that's why this temple is a lot more collapsed than Angkor Wat, for example. Moon was just explaining to us these pieces of beautiful artwork are little, right literal historical depictions of what took place in this area back in the day, which is so cool being Canadian, we don't have history that's this old. It is hard to believe that we're really here. See so many pictures and it seems so far away, so far out. It's really cool to be here. It's really cool learning about this. During the reign of this king, apparently 20 temples were made per year. This is the last temple that he made when he was 54 years old and it's known as sort of a, a recycled temple, so it's not the best quality. He was saying the drawings aren't as good and the blocks are sort of like used from other places. It's like, okay. I guess it was the recycled one. <laughs> it looks amazing, regardless. So this temple's really neat because the king made sure there was an equal amount of Hindu and Buddhist shrines because the population at the time was 50-50 and he wanted to make sure everybody had a place to um, celebrate their religion, which I just think is so beautiful and so ahead of its time. So neat.
Check out this family of monkeys here. Just cash. You know, they're really cute from, from far, but up close, they're unpredictable and spooky. Now it's time for a water and fruit break. Yay. Wow. Mango for king. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Wow, that's nice. Mango here is next level. It's just so sweet, it's so delicate. <laughs> so look at those two, give me a smile, Dev. Fruit always feels amazing, and water. We have another temple, last stop, and seven kilometers of biking. Off we go! Woohoo! Yeah, you'd think biking takes energy and you'd be sweatier. No, we're cooler on the bikes. It's more comfortable being on the, the bikes with the breeze. As we bike through here, with the destination in mind, we're just passing by so many temples. Temples out the wazoo. Okay, now let's go adventure. Another temple, this one is really interesting. It's called Tepron. And what's interesting about it is they've let nature take over. So it's a mixture of temple and trees growing out of the temple. And it's really showcasing what it looks like or before it was discovered. And how nature can just take over and how powerful nature is. Ducking in here, because it is short and I don't want to bonk my head. <laughs> oh, cool. We learned over the last three years they have newly restored this part of the temple, so the roof is actually new and you can see the, the color new of the new rock. But it's so awesome that they're preserving it and That's good work. creating it, yeah. Yeah, it's really, really sweet. It's also really grand. So grand! It's big. I didn't think it was going to be like we were going to be able to walk through them. And this was just a temple he said that was dedicated to the king's mom, so he built this temple for his mom. Like the amount of temples that existed are just like... Look at this tree! This, that's a tree trunk. It looks like a snake. It looks like a massive snake. Back on the, right up, uh, no, right in the tower there, okay? Oh, Whoa. my bad luck is gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a not cheap cheese tower. Oh. So mostly local people, they come to pray, you know, and then they are, you know, to wish everything like the bad luck is come out of the body and then the heat on the chest. Whoa. Yeah, three time. Okay. Three times. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this crazy tree. This is the movie tree. It's like a spider web of branches. Maybe over the over temple. ancient temples. What? And now we gotta move though because this is a picture spot. It is busy. <laughs> Well, folks, this is a place worth coming to. I mean, nature and history, it's iconic. The GoPro died and we made it to our final stop, which is lunchtime. And I'm standing beside the AC machine because it's nice in here and it's hot outside. Definitely overheats. And it's not because of the biking. The biking is actually the cool part of the of the day. It's just, you know, we're in Cambodia. So, off to lunch. Guys, there's no better beer for today. <laughs> anchor and anchor. And I was able to get a smoothie. Happy day. We're back. What an incredible, incredible day. I can't stop smiling.
Fantastic, honestly, really worth the value. Uh, fantastic pace as well, just like taking our time, it's not a rush. Amazing guy, super professional. Biking is definitely the best possible way to see Angkor Wat. It definitely is. It felt like we escaped the crowds as much as possible somehow. Like in the forest by ourselves, literally felt like the whole time. And we could not have done that by on our own. No. Because we wouldn't know which path to take. So that was fantastic. We totally, totally recommend this tour. And yeah, thank you Grasshopper Tours for fantastic good. I yeah. can't stop smiling. Fantastic so day. We hope you enjoyed the day as much as we did. And thank you so much for watching. See you soon. And we never saw Devon again. Walking about the Bayon Temple, it's a wonderful day in Angkor. Don't trip and fall. Don't trip and fall. It's bright and sunny. Hopefully, we don't get burnt to a crisp. Oh, singing Christmas tunes. Am I? Isn't that a Christmas song? Do do Walking do do do. The Christmas tree, yes it is. Do 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 do. Silly man. Uh, uh -huh. But it's but very like, like be careful, you know. Yes. They stink, so they have the venom on the back. You can see a little bit white liquid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you're touching them, so you will be getting hurt. <laughs> yes. Wow, those are spooky looking <laughs> things. <Yeah. laughs> okay. What do they taste like?